Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. Welcome back for another uh, video this week. And we are talking about everyone, no matter who you are, where you are, what you do, we are all chasing the bag. All right, so let me get into what I mean with this topic. So um, if you know, if you don't know, when people refer to chasing the bag, that lingo, it pretty much means that you're on your grind, on your hustle, on your focus, chasing that money, all right? But for the terms of this vlog, I don't want bag when I say that word for you to think of money. I want you more to think of a passion, a dream, a goal, um, something along those lines. Like we are all chasing and grinding and hustling to improve ourselves and make ourselves better in particular areas because we are chasing the bag. Remember, bag does not mean money, does not mean paper, okay? So when I started this vlog, I told you guys, you know, as much as I want it to be relatable, I also want to be able to share with you kind of like my personal life and like what's going on in my life. And um, one of those things, um, and I promise you I'm going to tie it back into chasing the bag, um, that I want to share is, you know, kind of about my um, photography. I, if you follow me on like Instagram, uh, mainly or even Facebook, you've probably seen that I've been doing like a lot of photography in the past two months, um, more than I've ever done before. I'm really trying to like delve into it and actually like learn and, um, you know, experience what it's like to shoot different subjects. Um, so I just kind of like want to take you guys through like what my experience has been, especially for any of you watching who are like new creatives. Um, and you're trying to like get a start in something, you're like, I don't know what to do, how to do it, I'm scared, like what if it doesn't work, what if I'm not good at it, all that stuff, like been there, still there, feeling it, thinking it. Um, so yeah, just kind of want to take you guys like through a recap of pretty much like the past year. So I bought my camera, if any of you are wondering what I film with and shoot with, it's a Canon T6i. No, it's not like the most top of the line best lens, best camera for like shooting people. Okay, I'm in college, like I'm lucky I freaking could afford this, all right? Um, so no, it's not the best of the best. Um, maybe one day I will be able to have the best of the best of things, um, but right now I'm blessed with what I have and I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna do with it what I can um, and utilize it to learn and grow in my craft. So anyway, that being said, I bought it for myself as like a birthday present uh, like I said, just about a year ago, end of June. And uh, I've always had like a thing for photography. I've always liked taking pictures. I'm like a photo person. Like I like holding on to photos. I'm not a photo deleter. Like I don't get rid of photos from like past people or experiences. Like I'm not a photo deleter. I ain't about that. Um, it's just not how I roll. I feel like every photo has like value and a story to it. Um, and I like keeping them. So anyway, that being said, um, when I got my camera, I did what most people with a new fancy camera um, do. They shoot in auto mode. I'm not condemning this. I actually highly recommend it because you need to get used to your camera. Um, I'm sure there are still things about my camera that it can do and tell me and menu settings and all this stuff that I don't even know about yet and I've had it for a year okay so these like things are a mini machine um, there's a lot to know there's a lot to learn so but I don't see anything wrong with someone literally who is just getting their first camera start just taking pictures in auto mode get like a feel of like how it focuses if you have um, you know like a kit lens on like how it zooms and um, you know just just things like that. Just get acquainted and comfortable with it. Are your photos going to be top of the line? No, probably not because you don't really know what you're doing yet. And that's like totally fine, but shoot in auto mode. Um, I don't like when more serious photographers look down upon that and they're like, well, if you're shooting in auto mode, then like, you're not really a photographer. And it's like, okay, like right now you're learning, you're testing the waters, you're getting used to your equipment shoot in auto mode like would i tell you to freaking like charge someone like 500 dollars for a shoot and you taking their pictures in auto mode probably not probably would not recommend that 
but you know just take pictures of like your dog your friends your family at like events like i remember um i went to go see family friends of mine um for my birthday right after i got this camera and i took it with me and i was taking pictures of their dogs um things like that just you know small things shoot in auto mode is totally fine so moving on from there um you know once like school kind of started i kind of moved into a new role in my job at where i was working which was like the college of business here at cleveland state's campus and um i would take photos for their events and um I started shooting video on my camera as well. There again, never shot a freaking video like in my life, especially on a piece of equipment like this. Didn't know what I was doing about like audio and like all this stuff. Like I'm trying to YouTube, I'm trying to like ask people like, hey, this is the equipment that I have. Like, what do I absolutely need to get in addition to it? Something like my mic, which I use to also record these vlogs. Like I'm just trying to figure this stuff out, okay? So there again, if you look at the first video I shot, holy crap, was it bad? Same with like this vlog, like it, it literally what I want everyone to get from this, no matter if you're a creative or not, you know, like let's say you are into science and like you are one of those people where you're like, I like experiments, I like spending time in a lab, like whatever that may be, it is literally trial and error. Like everything you do is going to be trial and error, just seeing what works, seeing what doesn't work. So, um, I, you know, like I said, so I've been shooting for pretty much a year now. Like I wouldn't say seriously, but I've been taking pictures, like I said, like at events. Um, and I shot like my first headshots just this past spring. That was a really different experience. You learn a lot about lighting, how to, because not everyone's skin tone is the same. Literally no one's skin tone seems to be the same. So literally every new person that came in, we had like the backdrop, we had like two um, box lights that um, my coworker and friend Rochelle brought um, for us to use. And it was just, there again, trial and error. Like some people, their skin just naturally picks up like the lighting, they look good. You snap like two, three shots and you're done. Other people, they come in and you're like, Ooh, okay, we're gonna have to work with this. And it's not them, it's not like the subject, it's just like the way, like whatever their skin tone is, the light you either have to like move it back, move it forward, like move it away, it change your angle. It's just like all these different things. So that was like a really good learning experience. Was I stressed out? Yes. Was I out of my comfort zone? Absolutely. And that's like another thing I wanna say in this is like you have to be willing to do things you're scared of. Um, this goes for doing anything new, but especially with creatives, um, you are going to be terrified out of your mind to take on projects and things that you have never done before. But until you do it, you literally will never know because if you never do it, then you've never done it. Um, and everything you do, no matter how well it goes or maybe how bad it goes, it's a learning experience. Um, it's a learning curve. So I encourage everyone to just take a deep breath and a step out of their comfort zone. And you know, if an opportunity presents itself, take a hold of it and do the best you can. I'm not saying don't like to go in unprepared, like try to learn what you can, try to ask people you know and trust who maybe have done something similar, watch YouTube videos, um, you know, try to figure things out and go in as prepared as you can, but literally until you do it, like you just, you don't know until you're in that situation. Um, like I'm saying with that LinkedIn headshot thing that we did um, at the College of Business, it taught me like so much in, I think we shot for like an hour and a half. We had like an hour and a half window, people could come in and get headshots. And I learned just so much in like that one experience that I never would have did if I wasn't brave enough to just be like, hey, you know what? Like we're gonna do this um, for our students. And yeah, it just get out of your comfort zone. Um, it's scary, but like you have to do it. Um, so that being said, um, that was like in the spring. And then the past like two months, I really, I don't even know like where this came from or like what happened. Um, it kind of started with, um, and I'll give her a shout out. Her name is Kate. 
Um, she goes to King's Church with me and uh, she is a Christian blogger. Go check out her blog, Chaos with Kate. Little shout out for you. Um, she, you know, she serves on First Impressions team with me and she was like, hey, like I'm starting this blog. Um, if you all could check it out. Like she sent this in kind of like the group context message and I had never met her. I didn't really know who she was, but I was like, oh my gosh, I am so excited for you. I just started a blog, you know, like six, seven months ago. Like it is hard and it is scary um, to be vulnerable and put your life out there for people. And, you know, I was just trying to like be encouraging to her and like any advice or help I could give, like I'm more than willing. And I said, hey, like just, you know, by the by, if you need pictures, cause you know, a, a blog is definitely like words, but people like to have put like pictures with it just to make it more like visually appealing. Um, I said, if you ever need pictures for anything with that, I was like, just let me know. Like I'm a very new photographer, but you know, I'm like trying to like build things up and learn and do. And see, this is what happens. So I want I want to talk about like I kind of have like these bullet points that I wrote down. I'm kind of like not following them to a T, but I'll get them in here somehow. So going back to like chasing the bag, like things that you need to do in order to be successful um, in chasing that bag, whatever that is to you. Um, and one of those is like stepping out in faith. Um, and I'm not just talking about you know like. You guys know I'm a Christian. I'm not just talking about like that type of faith, but literally just faith even in yourself. I'm um, just taking like a leap of like blind. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know how this is going to go. I don't know where this is going to lead, but I'm going to take this opportunity. I'm going to seize it and I'm going to own it. And um, that's literally what I did. So I put myself out there. I, I've never really shot people before. Like I've never like done a photo shoot in my life, like where I'm by myself, I'm the one behind the camera. I've never like done that. And I take this leap of faith. I don't even know where this came from within me. And I was like, Hey, like if you need these photos, let me know. Probably about two to three weeks later, she hits me up and she's like, you know what? I really don't have photos of like just me, like without like, she has two kids. She's like, I don't have any photos with, you know, just me. And she's like, I would love to have some um, that I could post on like my Instagram page for my blog and like also in the blog if I want to. And I was like, okay, cool. Like <laughs> let's do it. And, um, I have never had to find location before. I like, I literally know nothing. Okay. Like this is Nicole just completely out of her element. Um, and I was like, all I know is like, when I see something, I know what I want to come of it. And now I just have to make it happen. I don't know how I'm going to make it happen, but I'm going to make it happen. So I like, I was like, let's go to Tremont. I was like, that's a cute location. They have a cute ice cream place. She loved ice cream. Cool. Dope. Let's do it. So we go to Tremont and like, literally we're just like walking around the city and just whatever I see that, um, I'm like, Hey, I think like this would be good. Like we go over there. I like, kind of have her pose position. She was really easy to work with, like really a natural person in front of the camera. Um, those are like the best shoots because you don't really have to worry about someone being super stiff or uncomfortable. Um, it's also good, I think, to have like a relationship with them. I mean, not that I knew her super well, but we instantly kind of like clicked over like a lot of things. Like we had like a connection. So I think she, um, you know, trusted me and trusted like my judgment. And, uh, also, like I said, she was just really, um, an easy like subject to shoot because she just was like kind of naturally like positioning herself and posing. And, um, it, it wasn't anything like super strenuous, um, or like, you know, she had to like fake smiles or anything like that. Um, so yeah, that was my first photo shoot that I did just, I think it was like about a month ago and, um, literally after that. So like, this is what I want to say about like, when you take that step out in faith, um, and believe in yourself and just go out of your comfort zone and do something you've never done before. Literally like right after that, I was, um, asked to, uh, shoot a 5k for um, the organization I mentioned that I'm a part of here at Cleveland State's campus that's like international um, called Young Life. Um, one of their teams put on like a 5K as a fundraiser for their um, middle school and high school, you know, like programs. 
So they, um, I was asked by one of the leaders if I could shoot that 5K. Here again, guys, I've never shot a freaking race in my life. Like now I'm shooting races. Okay. Like it's definitely more my speed. Cause I'm definitely used to like more candids, um, event style, like in action. Um, the shoot that I did with Kate was really unlike anything I'd ever done because it's just one person. It's kind of like, I don't want to say like not candid because some of them were and like, those are cute, but you are more like positioning and directing and it's very much more like set up. Um, but I was like, okay, like let's shoot this 5k. Well, I shot that 5k, sent the pictures, did that. Then one of the other young life leaders who saw me there shooting the 5k is part of this other organization. And he's like, Hey, they need someone to take pictures at their 5k here, like on the 23rd of June. And I was like, okay, so now I'm taking pictures for them. And then see, like, this is just, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is once you do one thing and you put yourself out there, like things just start happening. Like boom, boom, boom. Like you never know from one like gig that you do, one job that you do, you never freaking know where that's gonna lead. You never know where that thing is gonna take you to the next thing. And it's just, it's literally just insane in the, literally an eight week time span, how much has just transpired um, in terms of like me trying to do this photography thing. Um, because then next thing I know, um, like one of my best friends, Lena was like, Hey, there's this photographer that we know from Kings and she's looking for an assistant. And I kind of name dropped you. And I was like, okay, cool. So then she gets in touch with me. Um, and like, we've been doing like kind of a couple shoots together now where, um, she's like mentoring me, but at the same time, like I'm assisting her, but she's like teaching me like while we're on these shoots and I'm just like, what is happening in my life? Like this, it's just crazy um, to look like at a year ago and like look now. And it's just like, if you just take these small like steps and just seize these opportunities, like you're chasing your bag. Like literally I have been like, and see like, this is the stuff like people don't know and like don't see. And um, I don't know how many creatives talk about this, but it's like all this stuff you don't see, like you don't see on my Instagram, um, you know, like a ton, like, oh, I'm, you know, at this shoot, like with this person or, oh, like this person asked me to shoot for this event or for this, or I'm spending five hours editing these pictures. Like you don't see that stuff, but like secretly, like, I, you know, go to work about every day doing two part-time jobs and, you know, like I'm still taking summer classes and like then on the side of it, it's like whatever free time I have, I'm literally past couple of weeks have either been pretty much shooting or editing. And, um, and I'm not like saying this to like get like praise of like, Oh, congratulations. Like you're so busy and you're like hustling, but it's just like, no, like this is like me chasing the bag. Like I have come to realize, like if I want to get to any capacity, um, a, to become a good photographer, I have to just accept these gigs. No, they're not paid right now, but you don't know when an unpaid one might lead to a paid one. Um, and you know, like, I'm like, I just got to take what I can take and take the experience, do it, learn from it. Because like, this is the thing, especially about photography or like video or anything like that. You are not ever going to get good. If you don't just go out and shoot, like you literally just have to go out and shoot at different times a day, different lightings, different subjects, because like, that's the only way you're going to learn. Like you can know the ins and outs of your camera or your lens. And like, you can know like all these technical terms, but until you like actually go out and like apply that type of knowledge and like shoot and like realize like, Whoa, like I'm way too overexposed. This is how I fix it. Like I'm still in that stage of like learning all that stuff. And I'm literally just trying to be like a sponge and just learn. And it's amazing just in a couple weeks time. No, I'm not still super comfortable with like adjusting quickly, like for different lightings and stuff, but it's amazing how much more comfortable I already am. 
um, to, you know, that type of stuff. And I think like another thing I just wanted to touch on is like humble yourself. Like you need to understand like this, like I'm just going to tell everyone like my attitude with like all this creative stuff. I'm at the bottom of the totem pole. I'm very new and I know nothing. So I'm going to sit there. I'm going to shut up and I'm going to listen because if you go in and act to people like you know everything there is to know like you're just arrogant and you're pompous and you're blocking yourself off from learning like you're trying to chase that bag but you can't chase it if you don't humble yourself enough to learn from other people who have already secured the bag oh yeah guys i went there dj Khaled. all right so you when you're trying to go from chasing the bag to securing the bag you need to look at other people who have already secured it and know what they're talking about and know what they're doing so in that like context like you need to be curious when i say like shut up i don't mean like never talk to anyone that's not what i'm saying but know when to talk know when to ask questions know what questions to ask right now like i told um this girl that i'm shooting with from my church like um who's kind of mentoring me i told her yesterday i was like hey like don't think like i feel like I know everything just because I'm not asking questions. It's just honestly, at this point, it's better for me to just like watch and like observe and experiment. And I don't really have, I don't really know what to ask right now, but that doesn't mean I'm never going to have questions. It's just like right now, I don't know what I don't know. So I can't ask about it until like uh, something comes up and I'm like, Hey, wait, actually, like, how do you adjust for this? Or how do you fix this? And there again, you're not going to get that until you just go out and shoot and go out and do it. Um, so I think like, yeah, you just humble yourself. So like three things in that like really long story that I just gave you guys is, you know, humble yourself. You don't know everything and it's okay to not get paid right now. I, I know like I preached about this, like in my internship vlog, like I believe that everyone's work is valuable and I believe everyone deserves to be paid for their work. I don't think I'm an exception to that rule. However, I understand the hierarchy of things. I understand that I am not anywhere near a professional right now. And therefore I might have to take some things that are not paid in order to one day be good enough to get gigs that are paid. Um, so humble yourself, know that, but stay curious, step out in faith, take a hold of like any opportunity that presents itself to you, um, and just own it. Like you, it literally is the definition of fake it till you make it. Like I was doing this shoot, never have I used a reflector before ever. I actually ended up using the wrong side of it. I found out later. You know, there's like the silver side, the white side, like, yeah, use the wrong side for the right lighting or for the wrong lighting. And uh, yeah, so never use a reflector before, but you just like, fake it till you make it. Like, you just have to own it. Like, I laugh at that now. Like, oh, you idiot, Nicole, like you freaking use the wrong side of the, you know, reflector. It's okay. Like, laugh it off. Like, now you know, you made the mistake, you learn from it. Like, there's nothing you can do. Don't feel stupid. Um, so yeah, fake it till you make it, own it, like just take those opportunities and do the best you can do. Like you're only gonna get better from them and learn from them. And then like the third thing is it takes experience and you have to be willing to take the experience. But it, another thing I didn't really mention yet is it takes community and this is where I want to talk about um, a new podcast that I have been listening to. It's called Black With No Cream. Um, it is uh, produced and like written, and the guy who does the podcast is Ben Haggerty. He is Beyonce's photographer and videographer. He freaking shot Coachella. Like that homecoming documentary y'all are watching, he shot that. Um, this guy has been I've literally just been listening to him for like two weeks now, but he's been one of the biggest inspirations to me um, starting all of this off because he's like, hey, I was like a no one from the middle of nowhere, like Iowa. Like, I, it's not like he was in Los Angeles. And he's like, you know, I just like 
learned all I could learn. I tried to like get myself in with like the right people and like get on sets, get on music video shoots, like shoot what I can, learn how to fly drone. Like this kid like literally is the definition of like he worked his way up. You know what I mean? Like he freaking like worked it. And uh, now that he has attained this level of success, you know, like shooting for Beyonce and other artists like Chris Brown, um, he is just trying to give back to the creative community, which I think is really important. If you are someone out there watching this where you are like an established like photographer, videographer, accountant even, like guys, this doesn't even have to be creatively like speaking, but um, an accountant, like if you are someone who is established, if you are someone who has secured the bag, then open yourself up to remembering how hard that was for you when you were starting out and try to give back and pour into someone else. Like these people in my life here in the Cleveland area who have been pouring encouragement into me and mentoring me, um, you know, and getting started is everything. Because if you don't have that, you literally feel all alone in the world and you're like, I don't know what to do. I don't know where to start. I don't know where to go from here. So if you have a skill or a gift or a talent and like you know of or like see someone who is like younger than you, even if they're not younger than you, but they're like starting out, whereas you have all these years of experience, and like you know your craft, then offer like your assistance, offer to help them, offer to teach and grow and just be a mentor to them. And that's literally what Ben has done like through this podcast, he is creating a community for creatives literally nationwide, internationally, to have a platform to get together. Like we have a private Facebook group. And here I am like a little college girl from Cleveland um, who came from the middle of nowhere, Ohio. And I'm just trying to like figure all this creative stuff out. Like, do I want to be a photographer for this or that? Do I want to shoot video? Like all this stuff and uh, you know, like he um, accepted me like into this private Facebook group um, for creatives and it's just so encouraging to have been on there even just the past two weeks like people are posting their work they're asking for feedback people are asking for advice like hey like how like where can I rent this equipment how do I charge for this how do I handle if a client says this like people are like constantly like on there and just talking like none of us know each other like personally like it's not like any of us have ever met um, I'm actually gonna be working um, a little bit with a graphic designer from Nevada on a little project. And I literally like just threw out there, I'm like, hey, I'm like looking for a graphic designer. I have like something I kind of want um, done that I can see in my head, but I need someone to create. And um, like now me and him are linked up from this Facebook group. So Black With No Cream, like Ben Haggerty just Shout out to like that whole um, creative culture because it's been really uplifting and amazing to have that. Um, his podcasts are great. He has really good people on there that he interviews, really successful people in the industry. Um, but yeah, so there's that community. But then like I mentioned, there's also like the local community um, of, you know, like friends and like other creatives and photographers and stuff that have been just like really supportive um, and encouraging and like, you know, offering their assistance if I need anything, if I have any questions. And that's like really, really important. So I think that's like really all for me today. Um, I, you know, like I said, I just want this video to serve as an example um, for anyone who has been kind of scared to try something new or to go out and do something that they've never done before. Um, you know, like we're all chasing the bad guys. So at the end of the day, like we're, we're all chasing something, we're all working towards something, we're hustling, we're grinding. Um, and I think I just want to end this video by saying like, be supportive towards other people, you know, like, even if you're not a creative, but you see someone like me, like post a photo and you think it's a good photo, like, let me know because that does so much for me and my confidence and like what I'm doing, what I'm trying to achieve. Um, just be freaking a hype man for everyone you see on social media, especially like it is such a great platform that can be used for so much good. Um, and if we want it to be, so instead of like spreading negativity and like, 
hateful comments and stuff like turn that energy into you know positivity and uplifting other people in their craft and their brand and what they do um it really is like a it's like a group effort and you know we're all chasing the bag um especially those of us who are in like a certain kind of community like college we're all we're all going for something whether it's an internship a job um you know like the highest award for you know the highest grades whatever it may be like we're all going after something we're all chasing that bag so let's like help other people make sure they secure their bag and along the way in their process and journey uplift and um encourage them and be supportive of one another and that is all I have for you guys this week. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure if you haven't already to subscribe to this video. Button is right below um, the screen. Subscribe to my channel. Also make sure if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up on YouTube are great. Um, that goes back to, you know, showing your love and support, um, being people's hype man. If you see videos or photos or whatever it is, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. Um, also, as always popping up on your screen right now is my Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I encourage you all to follow me, um, follow my journey. I like to think I post some kind of cool stuff. Um, so yeah, follow me if you don't already. And yeah, I think that's like all I have for you guys this week. Thank you again for taking uh, your time out to watch. Um, and I will see you guys again next time.